The earpieces, accompanied by icy stairs and plotted out routes with backup plans to backup plans, just an average day for Jack Hickey and his security team. And this is hardly an anomaly. We handle everybody from political figures, high net worth families, high level executives. No shortage of work. No shortage of work. Today, they keep close tabs on Frank Islam, the entrepreneur and IT specialist, leaving his Potomac estate and headed to an event with, among others, Bill Clinton. He's in secure hands, to say the least. This go kit contains everything from medical equipment to gas masks. And around the house, cameras, infrared imaging, a command center, and plenty more we can't show you. It's only two of us who are living in this house, so we needed a you know, peace of mind. Do you think people, the general public, has any idea that this world exists? If you're not aware of what to look for, you would never see us. Another surprise? Well, it could be sitting at the stoplight next to you, though you'd never know. A sniper would attack a vehicle, perhaps at a door seam, so you'll see protection along that side. At Alpine Armoring in Herndon, they are busy churning out fortresses on four wheels. Somebody stand with an AK-47, an M-16, and fire away at a vehicle, and they're virtually a tank. The claims confirmed the hard way. That This is a high-power rifle shot. If I open up that door, inside the door, there's absolutely no penetration. And there are almost no limits. Want to create an extra diversion? How about a smoke screen? That's right, a smoke screen. Oh, and someone tries getting into your car. A shocking door handle. Uh, that's not pleasant at all. From $100,000 to half a million, an increasing number of CEOs, athletes, and even non-household names are in a bubble of bulletproof material on the road and at home. You just might not notice. I pick up on two or three security details every time I'm out. It's, 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 it's there but not everybody picks up on it. Scott Thuman, ABC 7 News.